Yeah, a warm good afternoon to everyone present in this room. And before proceeding further with my presentation, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Lovpreet Kaur, and uh, I am pursuing my PhD degree in the Department of Forensic Science, Punjabi University, Patiala, under the kind supervision of Dr. Mukesh Matakar and co supervision of Dr. Navdeep Goel. And today I am here to present my paper on the topic entitled Personal Identification from the Facial Features by Using Harris Reductor. To begin with the introduction, as we all know that criminal activities are accelerating in the society at a faster pace. And whenever we step out of our houses, uh, we came to know that in each and every corner of the surrounding, CCTV cameras have been installed in order to keep an eye on the people who are passing through the eye of the camera. And uh, these CCTV cameras are installed both for the safety as well as the security reasons. These cameras are profitable in various ways, such as these help in monitoring suspicious activities of the individuals who are passing through the eye of the camera, and in recording the evidences, and third is judging the criminals. Uh, I would like to elaborate the third one as I was surveying during my PhD program. More than 70% of the individuals are not interested in installing the CCTV cameras, which belong to good quality, but rather than they are putting it in their homes or shops just as to inculcate the feeling of fear in the minds of the thieves as well as the burglars. Uh, as the criminal activities are increasing and so too, the forensic science laboratories are receiving plethora of cases which involves the recognition of individuals from the images or videos being captured by the CCTV cameras. And it's true that with the technological advancements, the field of facial recognition is witnessing an improvement in the methods that could provide efficient results in a short span of time. If we look back in the history, in 1960s, Bledsoy et al. commenced the utilization of computers to recognize the human faces. Even before this team, the uh, work of recognizing the faces was carried out manually by the anthropologist or the people involved in uh, analysis of such kind of cases. What they used to do is they used to capture the images of the individuals who are uh, suspected ones, and uh, then they used to put on the landmarks manually and they measure the distances between the specific type of landmarks in order to reach at a conclusion of identification. But it was that soy in 1960s who at first commenced the utilization of computers uh, in order to carry out the task of identification following them. In 1970s, Goldstein et al. included certain anthropological markers such as hair color and thickness of hair in order to optimize the face recognition processes. Following him, in 1988, Serovic and Pierre applied linear algebra for the facial recognition thing. But now, in the 20th century, holistic and feature-based approaches uh, combining themselves as the hybrid approaches have dominated the field of facial recognition. And in this present study, an attempt has been made to create a graphical user interface, which is based on Harris Redacto for carrying out the task of facial recognition. Before proceeding further, how uh, we have done it, I would like to make you familiar about the two terms, what is graphical user interface and what is Harris Redactor. Graphical user interface, often abbreviated as GUI, is an easy to learn graphic-based operating system interface, which uses icons, menus, and a cursor to manage interaction with the system. Such some examples, Apple's iOS and various social media apps such as WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook are all graphical user interfaces that maintains our interaction with the system. And Harris Detector is also called Corner or Harris Corner Detector. It's interest points detection operator, which is commonly used in computer vision algorithms to extract the features of an image. Uh, I would like to mention over here that there are several types of techniques which are usually undertaken by researchers in the field of facial recognition, especially nowadays. Some of them are holistic methods and some of them are model-based methods. Uh, but uh, the coordinate detector that we are using in our research is totally uh, a feature-based technique which used to uh, carry out the variation of the pixels of the images that have been captured by the CCTV camera. And the materials and methods that I have adapted for my study are step one is collection of samples. And for this study, 
we have collected 200 human front face images of the individuals that belong to age of 20 to 60 years. And all these samples were collected by using equation CCTV camera with model number DSCE11, D0T, IRTF 3.6 mm. And further, following the collection procedure, we have started the analysis of the samples and the acquired samples were then analyzed by creating a graphical user interface using the MATLAB software. And the analysis involves the comparison of questioned and reference images to establish the identity of the individuals. And this is a brief procedure that we have followed for our study. As I have already mentioned that the samples, video samples were captured by the CCTV camera. And after cap capturing the samples, the DVR is connected to the laptop and all the videos were then transferred to the system. And then using the MATLAB, we have extracted the frames or images from the videos because it's really, really hard or nearly impossible to work on the videos. The people who are engaging in this field, usually what they used to do is they used to extract the frames because what are videos? Videos are just the continuous running of the images. So after extraction of the frames, the third step begins, which is the selection of images. And the selection criteria is based upon those images are usually selected from all of the uh, image set, which have immense amount of official data to present so that the detector can work efficiently on it. And after that, the analysis of sample uh, begins and uh, we got the following results. In figure one, this is the graphical user interface that has been created for face recognition. Uh, I would like to demonstrate that the, uh, the three icons on the right side are actually uh, the push buttons, push button one, which is named as questioned image, push button two, which is a reference image, and then push button three, which is the output. And these are the three axes on which these images are going to put it. These push buttons are directly linked to uh, the programming coding that is going at the end of this graphical user interface. And uh, in the figure two, it is uh, like here the question image and the reference image belong to the same individual. And when we clicked on the output, then we came across uh, the green and red color spikes on various corners of the images, which are demonstrating that the picture belong to the same individuals. And uh, these uh, features have been enlightened, ha have been lighted in the form of green, co green color. Uh, then in the figure three, uh, here the question image is quite different from the reference image, or we can say the vice versa, that a reference image is quite different from the question image. And when we uh, put on the push button three, we came across this resulting image in which uh, the reference image is overshadowing the question image. And there is total absence of the green or red colored spikes or the corners that are usually extracted by the Harris corner detector. So it's completely showing that feature, none of the features are matching over here. And uh, before concluding, I would like to do it in a real manner. This is the MATLAB software that has been used for this programming. And when we run the program, the graphical user interface window will open for us the same window that I have been uh, put in as images in my earlier slides. And when we click on the question sample, then we can we have to choose an image. For example, this is the question image. And from the data set, in order to uh, choose the reference image. Uh, sorry, sorry to interrupt, Lakshmi. Have you changed your screen? Uh, yes, ma'am. I have done it. Like uh, start your screen share again with that particular screen. Okay. Because we are still able to see the conclusion of PPT. Okay. Uh, is it visible now? Yeah, it's visible now. Okay, so this is what I have presented in the form of pictures in my earlier slides, and this is the real version of how the MATLAB program actually runs. So uh, this is the code that we have created. And when we run this code, we will see this window. Like this is a graphical user interface, which uh, I have mentioned earlier. And when we uh, put on the Click on the question image. For example, this is the one that I have been selected for the question one. And this is the same one I have selected for the reference sample. And when we uh, click on the push button three, which is the output, we came to 
uh, get the result as such. Like the green dots, which are uh, present on the upper eyebrow, on the eye corners, endocanthian, ectocanthian, and on the nasion of the nose and certain other features that I have covered. Um, uh, is my like presentation visible to you? Uh, yes, uh, your figure one window is open now. Okay, uh, figure. I'm at the conclusion actually. Is it visible now? The conclusion is visible now? No, it's not. Uh, actually, it's the one. Okay. Uh, so is it visible now? Conclusion? I think uh, you have, yeah, it's coming now. Okay. So the results, of, uh, what results we have obtained from my study is, is that uh, when I was surveying in the various forensic science laboratories, I came uh, across the fact that maximum of the laboratories are still using the enhancement uh, softwares, which are basically for the enhancement of the CCTV videos that the uh, that would come to them in the form of evidences. And after that, what they do is they manually uh, do the facial recognition purposes. Uh, for example, if I, I am the suspect one, then they open their databases and uh, they try to link to the person if, if I would have been present in the database. But this study would provide much objectivity uh, to the human subjectivity, which uh, is involving in, there in the task of facial recognition. And the results, and I would like to say that I have analyzed 200 human face images, and in all the 200 human face images, we got the results. But sadly, there is a limitation of this detector, which is uh, that uh, this detector is not beneficial if there is change in the poses, like pose variations are there. And if there is uh, the changes in the lighting conditions, or we can say that illumination conditions. But yes, uh, this Harris detector works wonderful for the front facial images that have been captured for the analysis purpose. And it has been concluded that Harris detector can act as a boom for the forensic experts dealing with cases of facial recognition. Thank you. <laughs>